it's time to watch some Smash Bros. Over the last weekend, we had an invitational in Massachusetts called Mass Runs on Smash. It's like the Duncan America Runs on Duncan thing, but Massachusetts because we're unoriginal here. It's totally fine. So the Invitational uh, only included people from Massachusetts. That is I. I am one of those people. Uh, we got to... I got to play against all the top players from there. And I'm going to be watching some of those sets. We're going to get a little analytical with you. All those aspiring Zerusu players out there and aspiring good players. So, Wampi and I have played a handful of times at this point since I started going back to tournaments. Uh, they tend to go Banjo, they tend to go Palu, they don't want really to know what character to go against me. I don't really care either way, I think that Banjo kind of blows and Palutena has a way better shot. I find this matchup to be very weird. This is one of the hardest matchups to like give like a winning ratio to, which is why I think it's- Oh! This is the game where I forward smash like four times in a row like an idiot. It, it was like all miss inputs. <laughs> I think they were like all supposed to be dash attacks or F tilts. This is what uh this is what fighting game players would be would consider stealing a turn right here. So right here, everybody knows when Zero Suit nares your shield, it's not your turn. Why? Because Zero Suit will jab and if you try to press literally any button, if you try to roll, if you try to spot dodge, if you try to jump, you will get jabbed. If you try to do your out of shield option, I don't care if you're cloud, you're going to get jabbed. However, because of this, people will tend to hold shield. So I get a little mix up sometimes, right? I assumed he would know that I would jab, so I stole the turn. You get the idea. Did a little bit more extra shield damage, had a chance to kill him. I don't know if that back air would have killed, but the point is, I got greedy, I didn't get punished. That was f***ing crazy. Hello. This is, yep. I mean, it makes sense that it happened like this. It just looks really weird. And then I got yoinked and yossed. So like I was saying earlier, this matchup is weird because I'm so good. Holy, I'm nasty with it. <laughs> That's a better player alert right there. Like, come on, give me some credit. Oh, that, so that recovery error that happened from Wan Pete is going to happen a handful of times. A handful more times across the set, and I'll explain why in a little bit. Let me talk about the character. So, Zero Suit versus Palu. It's really hard to really give a favor to either character, which is why I just say F it, it's even. Uh, <clears throat> reason being is because Palutena likes to jump a lot. Zero Suit has a lot of good anti-jump tools, right? You have forward air. It wins most air-to-air -air situations. And you have Zare which if they try to space you out, Zare will usually just win. Alternatively, Palutena also really likes when her opponents jump. Reason being is because Rising Nair will just combo the f*** out of me. Hitting Nair tends to be a, a bit of a win condition for Palutena. So if she manages to use her really good ground speed to get in under me and then Nair, that's gonna be how she gets it going. So like neutral, again, like for, for the reasons that I just said, it's about even, it's about as diff, it's like similarly difficult for both of us to win neutral. However, when Palutena wins neutral. She does a little bit more damage and gets a better position. One thing I think Zero Suit has over her in the matchup is edge guarding. I think Zero Suit actually has like the potential to edge guard or kill Palutena earlier. Whereas Paul just doesn't really have that. There's not enough cheese in her kit. Um, but she is one of the characters that I believe can actually edge guard slash ledge trap uh, Zero Suit, given her down tilt and like the amount of respect that you have to give back air and forward air and air while you're trying to recover kind of forces you to go low sometimes. So you do have to eventually deal with down tilt unless you want to get greedy while recovering, which could lead to losing stock early if you're wrong, so on and so forth. I blew it. I was supposed to just do a drop through back air, but insta up throw, W. No kill spark, so he can't react in DI. As far as stages go in this matchup, I have no idea. I had this disgraceful set with Louie Money at uh, Level Up Expo where we would like, we were basically banning and counterpicking random stages. And I'm talking like, I would lose on Battlefield, I would go back to Battlefield, win, and then I would ban it. Cause I was like, cause I don't know, like, I didn't like the way it felt or something. And then like, it would happen again on like Hollow Bastion or something. It was the most that I've ever banned and everything like that. So I don't know what stages to go for. Like I like Battlefield because I, I mean, we both get better combos. Look at this ledge trapping, holy. That was not supposed to be a forward smash. Like I said, Battlefield's good for combos. Same with Palutena. The fact that it's small kind of sucks means that Palutena's gonna have an easier time trying to like, you know, run under me and try to nair. 
Alright, so I'm seeing Wumpy's getting pretty jumpy, like, all of the time. So if I don't start forward airing, it's gonna look bad. Great. That was really good DI by Mars. Woo! What you doing normal get up for? Wow. Scrub. Honestly, it was just a kind of random read. A little bit of a vibe check. If I'm right, I kill him. If, I, if I'm wrong, eh, it'd be like that. I don't know really what I could do here. Because I was pretty sure I hit, like, Sour Spot down smash. Yeah, I definitely hit Sour Spot, which is why he got released so early. Like, it's weird because he pops up like this. I just don't know what to do there. Boost Kick could have gotten me killed if I was wrong about how much time I had to set up. It's like, see, I mean, he, like, pops up right here. So if I go... I mean, Boost Kick would have worked here in hindsight, but I fell down hoping that he would try... He would just, like, mash air dodge or something, and then I would, like, down air him or back air him into the stage. But neither really happened, so I just went backstage. <clears throat> Fun fact, that is the optimal way to do that down B that I just did, because I fall, I do not get punished. You have to be pretty on top of it if you want to try and get the spike there. Not always optimal, but it's, it's, I don't know, I guess optimal is not the right word I'm looking for. It's a mix up. What am I doing? Dude, <laughs> this is such a weird interaction. Look at this. I was like, oh, what are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> I didn't know Wompy was smiling. <laughs> you look at my player count. I'm taking this dead seriously. <laughs> I get this. Shiesty air dodge. Re bop, bop. Shouldn't have drifted back in. Bum. Do nothing is the only frame zero option. Well, look, right? Like, what can he do here that will kill me? I am so comfortable. Like, rising back air wouldn't hit me. I would go under it. Like, he can't, he doesn't do anything. So, I think he's just gonna do rising there and get me off of him, right? Because rising there, it will, it will hit. It won't kill me. It won't do anything crazy. So, I put my shield up. The, the walk didn't see an air. I'm just trying to chase him. Yeah, like, like, uh, I'm just waiting for you to do a thing. Whoosh, <laughs> movement, my goodness. Hold up. See, I get this parry, right? I don't get a punish here. There's no true punish after this parry. So I dash forward and a jump, anticipating that he will dash back and retreat that he got parried or put up shield. When you get parried, nine times out of 10, your opponent, or rather like the, the person who gets parried is gonna pick a defensive option. I jumped over him, chose to react. Got the better of it, you know, it's all mental game. I was gonna talk about earlier, like why he keeps like bouncing off the stage like that. Uh, Palutena has an angle that she can recover at horizontally that you cannot two frame. There are no frames where you can like get hit for like while snapping ledge. He kept trying to go for it. And the times where he bounces up, it's cause he messed up the spacing. As I've been watching this set, I've been like trying to find like the sucks. So earlier, the way that they play around those. Also, like look, at this, look at the confidence in this spacing, dude. Oh, the pullback is too nice. My God. Just like continually makes it that you feel like you're doing the wrong thing. Does this does this nair combo into flip kick? Yes or no? So, and I'm not convinced personally. Someone, it's like, oh, like, this but he kept trying. Like I said, he kept trying to do <laughs> like, that angle. So I kept just right down thing, B spiking. Like I wanted to go like, for a down B spike at some point. Oh my God. I cannot so believe that didn't work. I want to see how close this was because I read the bad recovery. Like he doesn't have a jump here, so he has to get crazy. Damn, it barely missed, and he snapped. Oh my God, it's so scary. Getting back a ledge is so scary. He just plays right outside the range. The most confident back here. Holy. Keep the little, little, he just, little delay. Yeah, he's right little, the range he, wow. Little, 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 little bit of this. A little bit of salt on it. Do top players get nervous even after years of top play? Yeah, absolutely. No one is immune to the uh, nervous, the nerves. When do you go for flip kick at the blast zone? Is it true or a read? I don't think, I don't think anything in the blast zone is a true combo unless you're min min. This is grand finals, this is me versus Pelta. I consider myself uh, an expert on the matchup. I also think Pelk is pretty good at this matchup. And one thing that's very important that people don't know is that it really helps to just be active as Snake. Like just moving around a lot and confusing the Zero Suit as much as possible. These are seeds one and two. And also low profiling is really powerful too. 
It's something that Pelka does a little bit, but he doesn't implement it in like meaningful ways. Should have just down smashed to the left. I might have been able to get that. But you're watching me play. I, I throw back the grenades a lot, especially the uncooked ones. I think I think playing Snake is a boon and a bane in it for me in this matchup. That was a good read from him. Reason being is because... So I know when all the grenade timings are, basically. Like, I know I can react to grenades being cooked. I know where the C4 is. Just my explosive awareness is because, like, I, I think it's very good. I know what his, like, options are in most situations. It's hard to, like, really throw something at me that I didn't see coming. Uh, another thing is, like, the, the reason it would be a bane is because Snake has a smaller hurt box for his own grenades. I think also his C4. But because of that, I I misjudge if I'm far enough away, a lot, from a grenade for it to hit me. Basically, Snake can stand a lot closer to his grenades than other characters. It's a good recovery from him. I was looking for panic options. He could have up tilted, but he probably doesn't know. Look at this. Look at this. An, an expert at getting off of the stage. Look at this. Shit. Look at how. Look at everything I avoid. I immediately disengage because if I try to hit him, I get hit with the up smash and I lose. I shoot the paralyzer to just to, to stop any setups he's trying to do. I go to ledge, right? I jump an eye up air in case he tries to like set up a falling back air. But I fade back as well, just in case, because I don't want to be above Snake. I don't want to like have him come up and up air me or like throw more grenades at my landing. So I fade back. I react to his backer and I double jump over him. Footstool him because he has a grenade in hand. You cannot up tilt with grenade in hand. And I land. I just go over him and it's fine. And he gets back throw flip kicked. Toddler test is back throw flip just if DI in or something. Back throw flip kick is never true. It's That's why I call it a toddler test. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mix it up a little bit versus Pelka in this set. I, um, I know a lot of snakes like to take me to battlefield for the simple fact because it's small. Also, that caught my down B, which was unfortunate. Uh, small stages uh, makes it really easy to just corner opponents and get up tilts. I, I do believe I lose this game. But one thing that you can try to do as Zero Suit is uh, just aim for Snake's feet when he's like holding the grenade like this. That's what a lot of characters are able to do, especially characters with small hitboxes. We'll say like this, for example, like, you can hit Snake's feet. You can hit his hand that protrudes out. You can hit his head. But if you hit the grenade, which the hurt box is pretty big, it probably goes up to like his shoulders, maybe like around his knee to back foot area. But if you hit this little dangling foot, you won't proc the grenade. You have to be careful though, because if it does too much damage, uh, there'll be more hits done and the grenade will fall and it'll fall into your hitbox while there's hit stun going on and it'll hit the grenade. So I definitely make that mistake of trying to... I mean, I wouldn't call it a mistake. It's just, I'm trying to like take advantage of things that I know he's going to do. It's another, another good show of like being aware of explosive timings here. Like I crouched under that grenade because I know that I have a good crouch and you could probably go under stakes toss. Right? So right here, I see him drop this grenade. Most people would probably disengage as soon as they saw this grenade. I know that I can comfortably get under and like start pressuring. It was in the smaller camera. Just, you know, most people would probably disengage. I go in. I'm comfortable around grenades. Ooh, frame one jab, get him out. <laughs> Making the comeback. Up We're both cheesers. We're both such cheesers. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> this is exactly what the thought process here is like. Oh, shit. I drop shield because I think his back is to me. So I'm like, oh, oh, what's up, Cosmos? Thank you for the raid. I thought his back was to me, so I thought he was gonna like spot dodge or roll, but he was facing me. So I put my shield back up, spot dodged, hoping he would up tilt or try to grab me, and I would boost kick him. He spot dodged to try to up tilt me. I put my shield back up. I'm out of there. <laughs> Snake players. Bad awareness. That's why I lost. I thought this was the one where I SD. I'm of the opinion that the only two percents that matter versus Snake are the ones you get up tilted and 160% when you get down throw up tilted. And like maybe back air kill percent. But other than that, you really shouldn't be dying to too much else. 
You shouldn't really be worried about... Such a good combo in the back. Well, you should be worried about taking damage, but in the case of, like, Zero Suit versus Snake, like, your advantage state and cheesing is what matters the most. It's just like, it, dude. If I take damage, whatever. So you want to approach me? I, hell no. We're, we're going to engage on my terms, buddy. That was crazy. I remember be, I remember getting hit by that and going, oh, okay. Look at this up tilt that hits me. This is, this is Herpox extension to the maximum. Look at this. What are you doing sticking your foot in there? Bink. So this is a mistake that I made that I tried to fix. So I did this because I was like, oh, he'll have to cipher and then up B. So I'm just going to try kicking him. But I realized that the spacing's not good. So I just try to double jump back. The only way I die in this situation is if he does like jump back air here and I get caught without a jump and he gets like a forward smash on my like up B or something. Basically, I have to watch out for jump off of the ledge up B here. Knowing that, I just start mashing footstool and hoping that if he does jump get up here, I footstool him into his grenade and I combo him. If I don't footstool him, that's totally fine. I'll get phantom footstool, which is what I got, and I would go over the back air and I would I not die, which is the W here. Look at this, wow. Look at look how confidently I just run through grenades and So that grenade is fresh, I run through it. Boom, combo with the grenade, catches dumb little jump. So I decided to ban Battlefield just because it's the only stage I've lost game. I've dropped games to Pelka on at this point. We played in winner's quarters, I believe, and I think I dropped a game on Battlefield as well. So I'm like, it, let's try. I know Hollow Bastion is the counter pick, so I'll unban it. Let's, let's bring it there, let's bring it to Hollow. It has a lot more space, right? Which is why I really like Town and City in the matchup. I'm starting to think I should just let these dudes take me to like Battlefield or Hollow Bastion and I'm just gonna like go Mega Man if I keep having these close games, you know? So what I did here, this is an awareness champ moment. Check it. I four tilt him. A lesser zero suit would drop down and try to zare his landing. There is a grenade under me. I wouldn't do that. A better zero suit would run to the left here to try to catch his landing and hit a nair on his landing or something. Uh, what two top players would do, or rather, what the good zero suit would do, what I, I, I waited because I knew there's a C4 right here. So most snake players would double jump out of this situation up here and pop the C4. That's, I know this because I play snake. It's a small moment, a small moment where I went for a read and it didn't pay off. I don't know if he, if all that went through his head, but he chose the right option to not get bodied. Cause if I caught his double jump and him blowing up the C4, I would have caught him with a forward air. He would be off stage without a double jump, and that you know you'd probably back air and die at that point. Take it back. <laughs> That's why you throw the grenades back. Look, I don't know what to do there. I should have just down be like a normal player. He tried. Whoo! What you doing, greedy? <laughs> Did I avoid a, a C4? I didn't see. I, I down beat over something. He tried to up air me, this cheese lord, wow. Don't matter, grenade don't kill me yet. I don't know if he tried to back air or what there, but. Pelka started this with a huge lead, but not able to take the stock at all. Marston on at 182. Bad air dodge. He's probably scared of just up air back here. There was a lot to be scared of there. I had max rage and he was at kill percent. I'm like, I, like when I enter that state, I just feel so comfortable. Like I know I'm not gonna get hit in this situation, so I can just play like a. It's like when I know my opponent is like respecting me and he's scared of me at the same time, so I get to just be the idiot that I was born to be. But there you go. I won this, the Massachusetts Invitational, proving myself to be the best player in Massachusetts. Huge surprise. Who would have thought? Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, comment, like, all that good stuff. I never say hit the bell. Hit the bell.